Broadly, India has two categories of migrant laborers. One who migrate temporarily or provisionally out of India, that is overseas. Or the another category who migrate domestically on a seasonal and work available basis. Seasonal migration for work is an inexorable hard fact, especially in the rural India. The estimate is that more than 120 million people, that is 12 crore or more, migrate from rural areas to urban sector, labor markets, industries and farms. Poverty, lack of job prospects, socio-political and, and, and socio-economic factors, struggles are some of the key reasons for the migrant, migration, beg your pardon, of workers from their respective homes to far off places. During this unprecedented trying and testing times of coronavirus pandemic, the migrant laborers have witnessed, I think, the most turbulent horrible times of their lives. They have, they have been subjected to violence, humiliation and discrimination, sadly, by their own people, their own community, their own loved ones. As the misery struck, migrant laborers have been on the move and in dire straits for days and months. And with, with you know, many of whom still trying to reach their homes or or having collapsed on their way home or ironically despite reaching home being targeted as corona transmitters or corona carriers yes that's how they are being named as they have, they have become subjects of hatred and bias as somebody pointed out in one of the articles so vividly that the change in people's perception is threatening to cause a social conflict in the in the state as the as the very slogan of social distancing appears to be you know virtually turning into social discrimination that's what it that that's what is happening it was uh, you know reported in that article that a group of 21 laborers that reached Patna from Delhi after walking, uh, you know, constantly for 13 days on foot, suffered a severe emotional setback when the local residents, can you believe it, local residents addressed them as Corona Wale and teased them by saying, Dekho Corona Wale aage. You know, are we, are we, you know, entering into the phase of untouchables part two in our country? Is that what is happening? Horrendous. If that be so, we Indians will never be able to forgive ourselves. Can you believe that, that some migrant laborers have narrated in a section of media that they were completely aghast as to why such treatment was being meted out to them? Why, why people were driving them away when they when they stopped near uh, some people's homes to take some rest and and even you know they were prevented uh, from having water from their hand pumps but then few felt pity for their plight and offered them food and water on their way home citing another horrifying episode a pregnant woman who walked some 900 km to reach her home state faced further dreadful behavior from the doctors. Can you imagine? Who refused to admit her to the hospital after she went into labor pain because the, the, the medical staff feared she could be infected with coronavirus. The, the, this incident occurred uh, on the UP Bihar border or near the UP Bihar border. In many villages, I am told that the locals have fortified and cordoned off the, the villages and, and, and the returning migrant laborers are being pushed into the makeshift uh, quarantine centers lacking basic amenities. They are being treated as outcasts, untouchables. 
The central and the state governments are not to be blamed for every such incident. It is us, we, who are responsible for this inhuman behavior. We are, we are, we are, we are literally failing as humans to take a lesson from COVID-19, which I feel, believe me, is the, is the last and final chance for the mankind to mend ways, to be sensitive, to, to coexist, to have empathy, understanding and compassion. Well, I would end my video talk here. See you next time with another video talk on, on an issue of your choice. Thank you.